Hello everyone and welcome to this ELECTS webinar. I'm Diane Baden and a member of the ELECTS Continuing Education Committee. For those of you who attended Pam Newberg's first webinar on cataloging icky things, this, the content of this webinar is based in large part on your questions and suggestions for formats that you were interested in learning more about. For those of you joining us for the first time, you're in for a treat as Pam Newberg will address all those odd and new formats that you wish you knew how to catalog. Uh, Pam has a unique array of experience having worked as a cataloger, children's librarian, automation specialist, teacher in numerous types of libraries and she has been very involved with the cataloging of children's materials committee of elects for the past 12 years and as chair. Pam will remind you but we welcome your typed questions in the question box and we are recording this webinar and you will receive a link to the complete webinar within a few days. So now I will turn the program over to Pam Newberg. Thank you, Diane. Just some housekeeping before we start. Don't worry about taking notes. Um, the recording of the presentation, as Diane said, will be sent out to you, um, including all of the PowerPoint slides and my notes. Um, if you have questions along the way or something is not clear, please type the question into the question box on your screen. If the question is one I can answer quickly, I will answer it during the presentation. If the question is more complicated, I will either save it for the end of the webinar, if there is time, or I will answer it after the presentation and send the questions to all attendees. We are going to start today with a review of book cataloging. For those of you who took the previous webinar, um, it will be the, exactly the same beginning that we had in that webinar. From there, we will move into other formats, discussing what is different about that format versus the book format. We will also be focusing on descriptive cataloging and not on choice of access points. If you are in need of more detailed instruction, please contact organizations such as ELEX, OLAC, and the Music Library Association. Now, okay that all the disclaimers are out of the way, let's begin. For a book, the chief source of information is the title page. The main part of the title or the title proper is recorded exactly how it appears on the title page in the 245 subfield A. The subtitle, if there is one, is recorded exactly how it appears on the title page in the 245 subfield B. The subfield marker is preceded with a colon and a space. The statement of responsibility, in this case the author, is also transcribed exactly from the title page into the 245 subfield C. It is preceded by a forward slash and a space. If the title page has by or several names are joined by an ampersand, that too is transcribed exactly how it appears. The publication field, the 260, records in the subfield A the place of publication, in the subfield B the publisher, and in subfield C the date of publication or the copyright date. The physical description is recorded in the 300 field. The extent of the item, in this case pages, is recorded in the subfield A. Other physical details, such as illustrations, in the subfield B and the dimensions in centimeters in the subfield C. The five XX note fields contain notes about the work in hand. Here, is the note, here the note describes the references and the index. Many of the note fields have prescribed wording, such as the 504 includes bibliographical references and index. The six XX fields contain the subject headings. A 600 field is a personal name subject heading, and the 650 is a topical subject heading. These are only two of the possible tag numbers. 
The second indicator, or the zero after the tag, indicates the, that controlled or the controlled vocabulary that is used. The zero is for Library of Congress headings, and the one is for the annotated card headings, more commonly known as the LC children's headings. In the MARC record, we also code certain data so that a computer can find things more quickly. These include the leader and the 008 fixed length fields, often just referred to as the fixed fields. Here is the leader, which is a string of single letter codes. In the MARC format, the position of the data elements in the leader means specific things. Here is our string or line of data elements and its descriptions. The C in the record status means that the record has been changed or corrected since the first time the title was cataloged. The A in the type of record represents the format used for cataloging. In this case, it's the book format. The M in bibliographic level means that the work is a monograph. The blank encoding level shows that this is full level cataloging. The A in descriptive cataloging form indicates that this was cataloged using AACR2 revised. Here's the same string with the OCLC descriptors. In OCLC, full level cataloging is represented by an uppercase I. This string is the fixed length fields, or 008. In OCLC, the fixed length fields are displayed in boxes at the top of the bibliographic record. This is done so that the coded information is placed in the correct position. Here are the mark descriptions. The date entered is usually system generated by your ILS or by OCLC. The type of date is coded S for single date, which in this case is 1999. The place of publication is a prescribed three-letter code. In this example, BCC is British Columbia, Canada. The A in illustrations simply means that there are illustrations. The B in nature of contents means that there is a bibliography. There can be up to four codes used in the nature of contents. The zeros in conference publication and Feshtriff mean that this book is neither one. The one in the index indicates that there is an index. The zero in literary form indicates that this, this is nonfiction. And the A in biography shows that this is an autobiography. ENG is the prescribed three-letter code for English. Finally, the D in the cataloging source indicates that this was initially cataloged by someone other than the Library of Congress. Now the OCLC descriptions. Some of the places where one can find all the lists of various codes are the Mark 21 Bibliographic Manual, Catalogers Desktop, or by clicking on the OCLC descriptor if using OCLC Connection. Now we're going to move on to anime or graphic novels. One type of book that might be troubling is the graphic novel or anime. Again, the chief source of information is the title page. This is true whether the title page is in the front or the back of the book. The placement of the information in the 245 title field, the 260 publisher field, and the 300 physical description fields are the same in anime or graphic novels as it is in other books, just perhaps a little bit longer. The note area helps to describe the book in more detail. One important note is the 546 translation note, which is also coded in the 041 field, as coded fields are easier for computers to read. In the 041, the subfield A is the language of the book in hand, and the subfield H is the original language the work was created in. Other note fields include a 500 quoted note about the original format of the work, and a 500 quoted note as to how to read this book. If quoted notes are not from the title page, then two dashes are added after the close quote and then the details of where the information was taken from. The leader is constructed the same way as the printed book with a type of material code A indicating that this is a book. 
the 008 fixed length fields are the same except the literary form. For graphic novels, the literary form is zero for nonfiction. This is because the artwork is considered the most important part of the book, not the story. For a brief period of time, the literary code was coded as C for comic instead of the zero for nonfiction. You may even see some older records with C in the literary form. This has now been changed again, and the literary form is still zero, nonfiction, and the sequential nature of the drawings is coded in the nature of contents as a six. The classification or call number is also a nonfiction number. For Dewey, the call number for graphic novels is 741.5, unless it has another nonfiction number for the subject area. As an example, a graphic novel presentations of Shakespeare plays would be classed in 822.3. In this Dewey number, you will notice that there is a forward slash and a 951 after the 741.5. This is the geographic extension of the Dewey number, which libraries may decide to use. To add even more confusion to graphic novels, the subject headings have fiction form subdivisions. The subject heading, comic book strips, etc., is added also. In addition, some libraries may choose to add the genre subject heading graphic novels to allow patrons to search by that heading or to have better results in a keyword search. This is an example of a nonfiction title presented in a graphic format. As the content of the book is more important than the illustration, the item is given the classification number of the content, here 940.53 for World War II. The subject headings also differ in that the form subdivision fiction, which does not apply, is replaced by comic book strips, etc. as a form subdivision. Now we are going to move to another printed format, the songbook or music score. Like a book, the chief source of information for a music score or songbook is the title page. Some music scores do not have a separate title page, so the chief source of information is the first page of the score. In the leader, the type of material is coded as C for score rather than the A for book. The fixed length fields are different for printed music. Here is the fixed length field as the string of codes that you would see in the 008. Here are the marked descriptors for the fixed length fields for a score. In the fixed length fields in every format, positions 00 to 17, and 35 to 39 are the same. Two codes that are new in this format are form of composition, here coded SG for songs, and format of music, which shows what type of score this is. Here it's coded Z as for other. Accompanying matter here is coded H for technical information on the music, notes to keyboard players, etc and Z for other guitar chords in the back. Literary text for sound recordings is an N for not applicable, as this is not a sound recording. Scores and sound recordings are both considered music when it comes to fixed length fields, so that's why some of the coding doesn't seem to fit. Here are the OCLC descriptions. The physical description has the extent of the item, one score, with a number of pages in parentheses. Again, the dimensions are recorded in a subfield C. One general note that is very helpful for patrons is the for note. It gives the instruments and or voices that are written in this particular score. This information is also coded in the 048, or Number of Musical Instruments or Voice Code field. 
In this example, the first 048 shows that this is for voice and piano, and the second 048 shows that this is for voice and guitar. Other note fields that are included are index notes, summary notes, contents notes, and other persons responsible for this work, along with their relations to it. This example shows a score that comes with parts for the musical instruments. Here are the descriptions of the fixed length field codes for the quartet. The form of composition is ZZ because quartet does not appear on the list of codes. Music parts has an E to indicate that there are instrumental parts. There is a B in transposition and arrangement showing that this piece is an arrangement of a sonata into a quartet. The language code is ZZX for no linguistic content. The accompanying matter, however, is in English. So an 041 is added. The subfield G in the 041 is for the language of the accompanying materials. The first 048, or number of musical instruments or voices code, indicates that this piece is for a flute, a violin, a viola, and a cello. The second 048 shows that this piece can also be played by two violins, a viola, and a cello. In this example, you can see the full use of the 048 field to indicate numbers of each instrument in addition to the types of instruments. Subfield A is used to record performers or ensembles with each instrument in a separate subfield, and subfield B is used for soloists. The physical description field, or 300, has the number of parts listed in subfield A as they are not accompanying material, but a portion of the whole. In the subject headings, the sub form subdivision, scores and parts, is added to further define the work. Okay, we take a little break, have a little survey. Okay. Hmm, this is a little different than I'm used to. Okay. All right. Here's the poll. The common elements in cataloging I'm sorry, I can't see the whole question, and you guys can. The common elements in cataloging books and scores, I believe, is A, the descriptive cataloging, 2XX, 3XX, 5XX, the leader, the fixed fields, or the general material designation. And I can see that everyone has voted for the descriptive cataloging, so you all must be very, very smart. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Excuse me for just a minute. I'm trying to to go back to the slideshow. Okay. Since so many library materials are now being produced in electronic formats, we're going to switch gears. We are going to start by taking the MARC bibliographic record for the print book on RAFI that we reviewed earlier and turn it into an ebook record. The chief source for, of information for an ebook is the electronic title page. The leader is the same for a print book and an electronic book. They really only have different bindings. A 006 additional material correct characteristics is added to the bibliographic record as well as a physical description fixed field or 007 to describe the electronicness of the item. In the fixed fields, an S is added as a form code to indicate that the piece is electronic. Okay. 
seems that the survey is still on the screen. So Okay. Click on Okay, um, I hope we're seeing the ebook slide right now. Let me go back a little bit. Okay, no, we're not seeing the ebook slide. <laughs> I'm getting little messages in my ears. Hold on. Okay. Are we back to the ebook record? Oh, there's the title screen. We seem to have. Okay. All right. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Somebody just told me that, yes, we can see it. Yay. I love technology. Thank you, Carrie. OK, we'll go back. Um, the chief source of information for an ebook is the electronic title page. The leader is the same for a print book and an electronic book. They really only have different bindings. A 006 additional material characteristics is added to the bibliographic record as well as a physical description fixed field or 007 to describe the electronicness of the item. In the fixed length fields, an S is added to the form code to indicate that the piece is electronic. Here is the 006 additional material characteristics for the ebook. The M in form of materials is for computer file electronic resource, and the D in type of computer file is for document. If you are using OCLC, um, the guided entry will help you um, get these codes in the right position. So. The 007 is also a string of codes. The category of material is C for electronic resource. The specific material designation is R for remote. Color can be one of three codes. A, images are one color other than black. B is for black and white images. Or C for multicolored. The dimensions are coded N for not applicable, as an ebook is not a tangible thing one can measure. Sound is coded U for unknown. Here are the fixed length fields. If you notice, other than the dates, the only difference from the print book is the addition of the S under form of item. As for the dates, the ebook is considered a reproduction of the print book in many cases. The date type becomes an R for reprint. Date 1 is the date of the digitization. And date 2 is the date of the original print book. The 006, or additional material characteristics, Oops, sorry, I think I have, sorry, excuse me for just a minute, it seems like we've already done this, so. We've done that, okay, excuse me, I had some duplication in my presentation. 
are the ISBN numbers for the electronic book? Some libraries will use qualifiers such as EB or eBook to differentiate them from print ISBN numbers. The print ISBN numbers should be placed in a subfield Z. In this way, the electronic book will not overlay a print book in an ILS that matches by ISBN. Some libraries will use EB following the classification number to differentiate the title from, a print, from the print book. A subfield H, general material designation of electronic resource, is added immediately preceding the punctuation before the subfield B. In the past, the physical description or 300 field was the description of the print book that was digitized, including the dimensions. Differentiating the print and electronic books using the physical description, therefore, was impossible. Using the new format, subfield A, Extent, was broadened to include one online resource with a number of pages in parentheses, similar to the scores we just worked on. The dimensions, previously recorded in the subfield C, were dropped as they really aren't measurable with an ebook. Information about the reproduction or digitization is reported in the 533 Reproduction Information Note. A local genre subject heading of electronic books can be added if desired. The URL to access the electronic book is placed in the 856 tag in a subfield U, and any public notes regarding this URL are placed in a subfield Z. With the growth and popularity of ebooks, we have seen an increase in the number of ebook providers. Creating MARC records for each digitization can lead to a glut of bibliographic records for a single title. Provider neutral records were introduced as a way to consolidate all electro re electronic reproductions of a title into one MARC bibliographic record. In a provider neutral record, the date type is changed to S for single date, and the date one is the date of copyright or publication of the digitization. Also, the reproduction note, the 533, is dropped and replaced with a source of description note and the information on the description source as recorded in the 776. The 776 can also be used to record the LCCN or the OCLC number of the print source. If you can download books to your computer, why not audio? For a downloadable audio file, the cheap source of information is the audio file. One must listen to the audio file and record the title as it is spoken. Since this is often difficult, most will find another source of title, such as the publisher's website. Here is the MARC record for an audiobook on compact disc. In the leader, the type of record is I for non-musical sound recording. The physical description fixed field contains coded information about the sound recording on compact disc. The fixed length fields also give information on the compact discs. Here is the mark record for the downloadable version of this audiobook. The leader is the same as the material being cataloged is a sound recording. The 007 physical description fixed field for the sound recording is adjusted to reflect the new carrier, and the 008 fixed length fields are revised. A 006 additional material characteristics is added for the electronicness of the sound recording, as well as a 007 physical description fixed field for the remote access. Here is the 006 for the remote electronic aspects. The M in form of materials is computer file, electronic resource, as we've seen before. And the H in the type of computer file means that it is sound file. 
The physical description fixed fields, or 007 for the sound recording, change because the carrier is different. We no longer have compact disks. The specific material designation is Z for other, as none of the other codes are appropriate. Speed and configuration of playback channels are U for unknown. Groove width, dimensions, tape width, tape configuration, and kind of disk are coded as N for not applicable. The kind of material is Z for other, and the kind of cutting is also N for not applicable. The special playback characteristics are E for digital, and the capture and storage technique is U for unknown. The physical description fixed fields for the electronic aspects of the item are C for category of material, meaning it's an electronic resource. The specific material designation is R for remote. As this is a sound file, color and dimensions are coded N for not applicable. Sound is coded as A because this electronic resource has digitally encoded sound. The only difference, again, in the 008 or fixed length fields is that the form of item is S for electronic. Instead of sound recording, the general material designation is electronic resource. System requirement notes are added for the programs and equipment needed for downloading the audio file and the mode of access. A general note about the extent of item is added as there is no 300 physical description. Also, a note about the source of title is added. Last but not least, the URL for access is recorded in the 856 field. If we can access books and sound files over the internet, why not video? Here is the definition of streaming video taken from Best Practices for Cataloging Streaming Media written by the OLAC Cataloging Policy Committee Streaming Media Best Practices Task Force. Basically, streaming video is transmitted over a network and played immediately. It's not downloaded to your computer where it resides for a period of time. The chief source of information for streaming video is the title frame. This picture is actually the VHS cover. The type of record in the leader is G for projected medium. As with others we have seen so far, we catalog the video and add information about the item's electronic nature. The physical description fixed field, or 006, for the electronic aspects looks like this. I'm sorry, it's actually the additional material characteristics, the 006. The form of material is M for computer file, electronic resource, and the type of computer file is C for representational. We've seen a couple types of computer files in what we've cataloged so far, the D for document in an ebook, and the H for sound in a uh, downloadable sound file. The physical description fixed field, or 007, for the video aspects are coded as such. The, catalog, the category of material is V for video recording, and the specific materials designation is Z for other. Color is C for multicolored, and the video recording format is Z for other. The sound is on the item, so it is coded as an A. The medium for sound is Z for other and the dimensions and configuration of playback channels is U for unknown. The fixed length fields are based on the video aspects, again, with the S in the form of item indicating that it is electronic. 
The general material designation is electronic resource. The physical description, 300 tag, subfield A, extensive item, is one streaming video file, with the running time following in parentheses. Other details, such as digital, file type, sound, and color, are recorded in the subfield B. The system requirements and mode of access are recorded in a separate 538 field, and as always, the source of title note is needed if the title in the 245 field is not taken from the chief source of information. Statements of responsibility or credit notes are recorded just like they are when cataloging a video recording on DVD. Other notes as added are added as appropriate, including access restrictions. The URL for access is recorded in the 856 subfield U with a public note in the subfield Z as desired. There are just a few differences between cataloging streaming video and streaming audio. In the leader, the type of record is either J for musical sound recording or I for non-musical sound recording. In this case, it is an I because this is an ele a lecture. A physical description fixed field for sound recording is used rather than one for video recording, but it still has a lot of N's and Z's. The fixed length fields, the 008, are also those for a sound recording with the S in the form of item. The extent of the item is recorded in the physical description 300 field as streaming sound files. Okay, we're ready for another survey and hopefully I can get it right this time. Let's try this. Okay. I think I did it. <laughs> um, in what ways is the cataloging of an ebook or a downloadable audio file or streaming video different from cataloging the tangible materials? A, the leader code for type of material. B, adding 006007 and GMD. C, subject headings or D, access points. Wait just a little bit more to give more people time to vote. Okay, 85% chose B, adding the 006007 and general material designation, and that is correct. The leader codes are the same as the content. So for downloadable audiobook, the leader code remains in either an I or a J. For a, a streaming video, the leader code remains the G for the uh, projected medium. So 
All right, we're going to try this again. Okay, here are the poll results. And okay. I'm going to try to go back. There we go. Yay! Can everybody see the next slide? <laughs> okay, I think we're moving on to video games. For a video game, the chief source of information is the title screen when starting the game. As most libraries that I know of don't have the video game systems, you will take, need to take the title from any source that you have and add the 500 note about where you got the title. In the leader, the type of record is M for computer file. We are finally getting to something that is pure computer format. The physical description fixed fields 007 and the fixed length fields 008 also change with the new format. These are the physical description fixed fields or 007. We have seen these in other electronic formats. The category of material is C for electronic resource and the specific material designation is O for optical disc. Color is C for multicolored, and the dimensions are G for four and three-quarter inch disc. The sound is A as it, it, as it is on the medium, in this case a DVD-ROM. Here are the fixed length fields, or 008 for a video game. The only new element is the type of computer file, which is G for game. We've seen these a couple of times. Video games do not usually have ISBN numbers similar to DVDs and CDs. Any number available that can uniquely identify the piece is recorded in the bibliographic record. Here we have a UPC code in the 024 and various publisher numbers in the 037s. The addition statement, 250, contains the addition or version of the game. Here it is the addition for the Wii system. Physical description, 300, gives the extent of the item, here one DVD-ROM, and other physical de details in, in the subfield B, and dimensions in subfield C, and accompanying materials in the subfield E. The note fields give the system requirements, general notes including our old favorite source of title, and audience or rating notes. Whatever notes that aid the patron in selecting what would work best for them are included. A genre subject heading can be helpful to a patron as well as a corporate body added entry for the game producer. Add a 753 system details access to computer files added entry and record the make and model of the machine needed to play the game in subfield A. That was easy. We're going to now move on to the equipment that we can catalog that will be able to use all these electronic things on. For equipment, the cheap source of information is equipment itself. In the leader, the form of material is R for Realia. There's a very short 007 physical description fixed fields and slight changes to the 008 fixed length fields. The form of material in the leader is R for realia. The definition is three-dimensional artifact or natural occurring object. In this case we are using it because we are cataloging machines. The physical description fixed fields for realia for both category of materials and specific material designation is Z for unspecified. 
In other words, it does not fit into any other categories defined in the MARC codes. The fixed length fields for Realia are the same fields that are used for video recordings and other visual formats. So with Realia, there's no running time, and so it's coded NNN. The type of visual material is R for Realia, and the technique is N for not applicable. The general material designation is Realia. The physical description is the extent of item, here one electronic book reader, other physical details, the dimensions, and any accompanying material. In the note fields, put the source of title, if not from the equipment itself, and any other information that may describe the piece. Here is an example of the MARC record for the MP3 player. As you can see, it is very similar to the record for the Kindle. The leader, physical description, fixed field, and the fixed length field elements are all the same. The extent of item in the physical description field, or 300, is one digital audio player. In this record, the 538 note gives the system requirements to use the player. Phew, that was a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, you are more familiar with different formats, book, score, sound recordings, visual materials. I also hope that you are more comfortable in cataloging the electronic versions of these formats, whether downloaded or streaming, and the equipment needed to enjoy them. I see that we have some time so that if you have any questions that you want to ask, please go ahead and type them in.